Hello, everyone. I bet you may guess what we will be doing tonight right away. So what's happened? I remember my DBX box, the last one I got. And I, it was sitting for about a month and I tried to run it and it didn't run. Uh, after probably like a couple minutes, it started to run, but it was starting like very weird, like crackling, crackling, and then started to play. And like, and then it was playing in some time, crackling again. So my idea is that capacitors in this unit needs to be replaced the right way to make sure it will perform well. All right. So let me open it and let's do it. See you soon. All right. Now, when the unit is open, the next step is to remove these plastic pins, uh, which holds uh, connectors to the back panel, all right? And then remove screws, three screws, and remove the back panel. Next step, disconnect these connectors. Oh my. There are quite a few of them. Those are all connectors for the LED level indicator, all right? This one for the adjustment port as well. And this three, so there is LEDs, so we just need to remove it from the pins by Z. Done. So then like uh, you would need to remove one, two, three, four screws and board will be released, right? And we can work on it. Let me do it and see in a moment. Okay, this has been done and board is released. There is also two ground wires, one here and one connects here on the back. And now I can work on it and recap. So for you, it will be just a moment. For me, it will be about an hour to work on this board. And I see you right there. All right, everyone. Recapping is complete. As you may see, I've installed all capacitors Nichicon Fine Gold. Uh, this time that's uh, electrolytes. And this time I decided to replace four tantalum capacitors because as you remember restoration of techniques, the tantalum capacitors were the reason of the failure. I was thinking about replacing this orange polypropylene guys, but uh, it's appear that these are 10,000 picofarad and have just 12, 15, and 18. Um, that's, I will see if they will continue failing. I will replace them, but I need to order cups. All right, I connected all connectors back, installed all LED connectors. Now I will install the back panel and we will test. See you soon. All right, all right. The BX unit works, but the indicator has sporadic issues. And when I was looking, I mentioned that it has glue similar to a Kydex. Uh, we have observed it, which uh, makes an issue. So I decided to clean up this glue and see if indicators start to work a normal way. All right, see you soon. All right, everyone. Here, restore it, working. Uh, here is the frequency sweep. It is a minor rise like to 20, at 20 kilohertz, but it's really very minor. Less than one decibel. From 10 kilohertz to 20 kilohertz. All right. Let me see if I can adjust it a little bit make it better and it's 40 kilogears so from 10 to 40 it's a little bump all right let me see if i can adjust it all right all right so i connect the scarlet input and output and when i'm playing music i'm monitoring using uh, garage band studio and I will be switching between source and tape, and there is no difference. So, like, without the, without the bags and with the bags. 
Uh, it will be short fragment, but... <laughs> Right, as you may see, uh, you may hear there is no difference, so that's a good sign. So when we are on digital, it's uh, in quotes and decodes properly. Levels are set. So uh, the only thing which I mentioned, all right, that uh, indicator sensitivity is different on different frequencies. So it's. Uh, shows like zeros at 400 gigahertz it's uh, if you go below 400 gigahertz levels drop if you go above like to five eight kilogears levels significantly more sensitive so that's what i would wish to fix i'm not sure why it's happening so that's the amplifiers integrated amplifiers that's the just uh comparators they compare um analog levels which set with resistors with the signal from this integrating amplifiers um and there is like just single like, capacitor ceramic and signal goes like from from decoder so i'm not quite sure didn't get into this yet I spent so much time with indicator. Now everything works. I'm also found uh, some issue with the board itself. Uh, I had to put uh, protection between board and a lower like metal plate um, because like uh, a little bit touching and like it's start to degrade frequencies like levels and and so on. And that's like I put like protection and then now I can touch and nothing happens, everything works fine. So I'm not sure like if it's too flexible, like that I didn't find any long pins like or for legs from the parts. Not sure why this was happening. Now everything is fine. And this box is restored. I would only wish to Make sure that indicator will, will work like linear across all range of frequencies. Everything else is perfect. All right. So that would be it for this part. So for this video, thank you for being with me. See you and bye bye.